Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Black Sea Odyssey, or welcome to if you've missed the impressions video, don't go watch it. I didn't know how to play and it went poorly for me. Uh, so, old man. Sure, Space Poseidon, why not? Uh, these are new. Heal for 10 health after every round. I'm just gonna zip past a couple of these things, because I'd like to get into the gameplay. Because apparently I didn't actually know what I was doing the first time around, so Bounty, 7,500. Uh, let's go for the Belch Brothers. We went for this one last time. So, uh, if you did see my impressions video, I missed out on a grossly important mechanic that wasn't exactly obvious, and the developers actually tweeted at me to tell me how to how to do it right, because they obviously they're nice people, and they didn't make a bad game. I'm just a dumb person sometimes. So let's go murder some uh, space fishes. Space fi fish 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 fishes. Where's this one? Oh, you know what? It's probably under, like, underneath somewhere. Okay. Let's see if I can kill that frag. Oh, God. There's bigger frags. This is, this is more frag than I'm used to. Okay. Well, let's just go around them. Ah! Ah! Things have already gotten concerning. These are more space frags than I wanted. Okay, whatever. I know how to, I know how to, I know how to play now. So, most of these enemies... Not a big deal. Uh, oh, Psycho, we are, we are ripping it hard. Um, you're coming with me, Mr. Fish, Chomp, Chomp Chaser. Unfortunately, with a dude with a name like Chomp Chaser, I feel like, rip it. Okay, we've ripped off a piece of the Chomp Chaser. Awesome. Uh, let's charge, charge this shit up. And dead. Okay, hit him in the face with the goddamn space harpoon. And Frig comes out of nowhere. I'm probably not going to win. Come on. Oh. I gotta just let loose with that one. Okay. So I'm just gonna hit him in the face a bunch. Okay. Let's just go for this guy instead. Let's hit it instead. Until it tells me to rip it. And then we're ripping some shit. We're ripping some serious shit here today. Maybe? I don't know. Come on. It's ripping time. Harpoon, harpoon. Rip it! Got it. I ripped out its organs. It is dead. Beautiful. So we've, I've learned how to play now. Let's see if I can rip rip the leg off. Beautiful. Yeah. So you have to charge up with right click. Uh, and then you get like a super harpoon. And then if you do so... Oh, it blocked it? If you do so, you can fuck him up. So this game has procedural damage on... Um, this game has procedural damage on the on the enemies, which I actually think is super cool, in a way. So let's just withdraw that. It's useless. Okay, did I get anything cool from that? No, but whatever. I was kind of hoping I'd get a key. Keys are useful. Ah, but now I know how to play the game. It's still going to be a giant pain in the butt, but we know how to play. And that is very, very important to proceeding with this game. Because, like, I've been watching these guys since, I'm going to say September... Uh, it might actually be, like, just one developer. I don't know. It's a fairly small development team. And I was particularly impressed because the visual design was good. And I still think the visual design is good. Yeah. It's a lot more fergs, fergs than I'm used to. We should be able to just kite them around, no problem. As long as we don't run into too many big groups that we don't want to deal with. As long as the big one kind of leads the way. I think I lost them. I'm just going to keep sending spears in their general direction. I seem to be doing damage to them. Yep. So I don't want to let them do a thing. I don't want to let them do anything, really. Okay, I got one of them. Let's see if I can rip. No, it just does damage, but that's fine. We're just going to avoid... And not get killed here if I can. Unfortunately, the enemies have kind of like weird movement patterns. But whatever. I can make it work. We've got this guy who's enchanted. Uh, let's see if I can get his leg. I got his leg. So let's just hit it until we can rip it off. Is it... Is it ripping? Ripping! Got his leg! Okay, we back off now. Ugh! Okay, luckily he's super confused about how he moves, but I also am super confused about how I move. So if I just tap? Oh, my sprint. 
I don't know. The sprint is a little bit weird in this game. I honestly kind of wish there was, like, super boost. Like, if you hold shift, you just move a little bit faster. But if you, like, double tap it or something, your character just goes, like, bananas! Okay. Gee! I will never, ever get used to, uh, the enemy design in this game. I think. So, yeah, let's see if I can kill the b biter fly or bitter fly. I don't know. It's probably supposed to... It's totally supposed to be, like, butterfly. Okay, we're gonna use this to get out of there. Let's see if I can go... Rip it! Let's see if I can go for its bits. Okay, we are managing to stay uh, slightly ahead of the curve. I really want an upgrade here, but until we get one, we're kind of in a... Oh, he died. We're kind of in an awkward spot of frogs for days. At least I can just kind of drag them along and force them to be my friend. Did I kill him? Yep, I killed him. Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. We've got the skittish leapfrog, which I think I got. Yeah, got him. Yeah, if I can get him in the leg, we can rip it or just kill him. Which I think I just saw a key go by. I'm gonna send that over there. So we want to find a chest if I can. Is there, like, a map button that I can do? No. So I guess let's just keep murdering. Did I get him? I got him. Uh, let's see if I can get... I can do some ripping here. Yeah, his face is blocking it. Ow. Ah! That was something. Alright, we've ripped his leg off entirely, and he is now quite dead. Okay. I'm gonna just charge, get that leg, beautiful. You're both coming with me, or neither of you are. I don't I don't know what's going on here. Either way, this is a way better product than uh, I had originally assumed. I'm just gonna rip him in the face and kill him uh, as a passenger. It's a lot easier killing him with, it, with him harpooned. Alternatively, maybe not, I don't know. This might not be working as well as I had hoped. Oh, that's okay. As long as we know how to kill these guys, I don't really care. Oh, I might actually... No. He's he's losing health. Okay. Let's go see if I can find a uh, chest or two. This should be around here somewhere. Wouldn't mind, like, a, a heal at some point, but... Oh, there's one. Kind of wish they'd show up on the map. Okay, so we get a rune. What's this? Boost power. Boosts are 20% more powerful. Cool. I'm gonna keep looking around for a second, uh, for a little while longer. I don't think there's a time limit on this, apart from, you know, me not dying. Uh, I don't know what gets the great beast to show up, but I don't care. Okay, no, that's not, that's not how you get the map. Now yeah, we'll look around. Some of these, some of these power-ups actually give me, like, uh, major damage boosts. Uh, or like a Healy thing or whatever. Unfortunately, they don't show up on sonar, which means I have to manually search for them, which feels a little junky. I really wish they'd show up on sonar just because. Okay, so... Ah! Right, run into the mushrooms and suddenly everything becomes Technicolor. Uh, it's not a big deal, though. So... I don't know. Uh, still nothing, though. All right, yeah, I can pl go plowing through the environment. Actually pretty handy, admittedly. Okay, still nothing. Yeah, whatever horrible, horrible fish monster that I have to fight is still somewhere beneath me for the time being. I'll just bounce off the mushroom. Come on, there's gotta be another, there's gotta be another loot chest in here somewhere. At least I don't take damage by, like, bumping into the environment. I always hate games, uh, that, like, get you with stuff like that. Seriously? There's nothing? Alright. Okay, let's just manually dig our way through and get psychedelic- psychedelicatized. Yeah. Looks like, uh, there's- there are no more loot caches around here. Oh, nope. Those are just boulders. Okay. Yeah, either there's no more loot caches, or I'm 
just super unlucky and have gone past all of them. So I guess let's get our murder on and get out of here. Or at least lose, because I'm very bad at this game. Okay, oh, wait, there it is. It was just... Got it. Uh, oh, man. Gotta stay away from these frogs. They are punchy with both legs. So if I can rip it... There we go. Okay, yeah, if I can rip off his other leg. Guess not. All right. Oh, I can charge my spear up for a fair amount of bonus damage, too. Apart from just ripping it. Uh, we can just rip bits off. Alright, I'm just gonna let him bring me along for the ride. Until he goes running through... Come on. Oh, interesting. Uh, yep. Rip it. Yeah, this guy's already injured. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we found our we found our second chest, but it did not have a power-up in it. Oh, wait, no, it did. What is, what's this one? Uh, common spear. 5% chance to steal two life from the enemies on hit. <gasps> Oh, thank you. I mean, it's a very small chance, but you know what? Any chance is acceptable. Okay. So now we, we have healing. Uh, we do actually have one more key, but chances are... Chances are we're not going to be able to get much use out of it. That's okay. Oh, man. I like this game so much more now that I understand how it freaking works. Uh, which is totally my fault for, you know, not doing proper research. I played the tutorial initially, I think, but I don't think it properly uh, explained how the tutorial like functioned. Oh, these aren't crystals. They're like kelp seaweed frondy things. I get ya. I understand. I was wondering. I was like, why don't I take contact damage running into these like crystal things? No, it's just seaweed. One thing that's probably a good idea is prepping the arena with a couple of escape spots, but there's no way I'm going to find that one coming through later. We'll see if I can find another chest or whatever these gold bits are. Or another key. Yeah. Maybe there, maybe there's an upgrade you can buy or something uh, that'll, that'll let you. There we go. Uh... But yeah, like an up upgrade that will reveal chests on the map. That'd be nice. So what we're looking around for right now is the music to pick back up again. To get another one of those, like, disturbance spots. Uh, like with the frogs and whatnot. Because then, then you know. Then you know where you're supposed to go, go and uh, fight and whatnot. Okay, it doesn't look like it's up here, though. It's kind of awkward uh, having this limitation of, like... You know, just wandering around looking for the next encounter. But whatever. Okay, yeah, so there's there's the brothers. It, it's another frog. Who'd have thunk? But I'd very much like to be able to fight something. Because we're not ready for him yet. Hey, double chest. Okay, we get some more we get some more runes. Okay, uh, so let's check tab. What is this? Attack speed 1 for 10 seconds. And boost power, boost power, and speed. Ship moves faster. Good. Okay, so now we've we've spent our keys just wandering around aimlessly. Uh, and I just want to know where to go. Assume going into the darkness does nothing for me. Like, do the enemies just not spawn? Am I supposed to go for Big Bad? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna cut the recording till I find them. Okay, I think I was just supposed to stand out, uh, hang out next to him. Okay, well, we're going to just grab the Belch Brothers' leg. And, oh! He spits frogs at me! I missed. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, we found the Belch Brothers! Hi! Uh, so I was just supposed to hang out vaguely near them. And that would be enough. Okay, so he's probably going to come a-charging at me soon. He's got some serious range there. I'd like to get behind him and go for his legs. And see if I can start ripping them off. Uh, but the chances of that happening are kind of slim. He's also very fast when he wants to charge. Luckily, he destroys the environment, so... 
uh, this arena is going to get very big very fast. And he doesn't have, like, a shield. There's a couple of things he can do to... There's a couple of things he can do to, uh... Okay, this sucks. Uh, there's a couple of things he can do to, uh, pull me around. Okay, we're gonna let go of that harpoon. Because we don't want to deal with that. I don't know where the other frog is. Uh, but yeah, we actually have a fair shot at killing this one this time. And getting my health back up to full, because lifesteal is amazing. Especially on a big, vulnerable boss like this. Okay, there's the frog. Got him. Because yeah, my health's already back up to 80. Uh, so chances are, I'm actually going to be able to get up to full. He's probably coming, yep. But I can just do a small boost and get away. Oh, this game This game does boss battles well. I don't know. Uh, I, I like games where it's like one small guy against one big boss. And procedural body part damage is cool. Uh, so we're going to wait until that his body parts start like really flashing here. And then we're going to try and rip some of them off. I could use my consumable here and uh, increase my attack speed by some amount. But it's not that useful. Oh, the reason why we're probably having such a good time against this, apart from this guy being really comparatively easy. Uh, okay, let's see if I can counter spin him a bit. Uh, is uh, We've also got a ship speed upgrade here. I'm not trying to be particularly creative with my with my circle strafing. Uh, because I'd like to get up to 100 HP. Music is good. Yep. This music is really well done. It's very... It's very jumpy. Oh, not jumpy? It's it's very energetic in, like, a very good way. Ah. He missed, though. Okay, so let's kill those mini Fergs. Luckily, it's only two hits and they're dead. Ah, problem is the, the kelp and whatnot is kind of inconvenient. Alright. Be nice if I could get like double shot at some point. That'd be really cool. Oh wait. Rip it. I took his head off. Alright, so let's gather all of this shit together. One of those was like a fixed thing. Well, I didn't need it anyway. Boss bounty. Fish bounty. Elite bounty. Zones clear. Chess opened. Yeah, there's one more chest, but not enough time. That was fun! We actually managed to complete a level on... Uh, we actually managed to complete a level on this game. Okay, so I'm not doing great point-wise. I will keep that in mind. So let's go to the shop. Let's see what I can buy. Uh, so we can get ship moves faster. Increases critical hit chance by 15%. Critical hit damage. Repair. Frost Trail lasts three seconds. Also damages how much? I've got 133. Boost recharges faster. Kind of want to go with this. What's this one? Fire. Spears explode. Dealing three damage in a small radius. Cool. I'm actually gonna... Maybe. Uh, I probably don't need to sell it. I don't care about boost recharging and there's no way I can get Ice Trail. Oh yeah, we do actually need to sell one of these. Ah, uh, that's okay. Because I'd like to get Critical Shot. That could be actually quite handy. Cool. I like this. Uh, so let's close shop and keep going. So, obviously Bounty Board is important. Uh, so we can go after... I believe this is Nom Nom. We can go after Carbidus, Carbidus, or Megalark. Oh, interesting. Key drops, enemy le encounters... Enemy damage, enemy size, lead encounters, key drops. Yeah, so number of uh, that's Megalark. So extra enemy health, extra enemy size, number of items, and chest density goes up. I'm probably gonna go after the Charybdis, uh, just because. God, I don't want to, but I probably will. Uh, but either way, no, I'm I'm really impressed now that I understand how to play the game. Uh, this is actually, like, a really solid product, and I can't wait to play more. So, you know what? I'm going to stop now and see you guys in the next episode, because, uh, this is a, what, a five-round game? We're probably not going to make it all the way there, but this is a good stopping point. So, let's do re-impressions. This game is pretty. This game plays pretty well. The main character's a little stupid looking, but whatever. 
Uh, there's a lot of pr passive progression stuff that I can see there. Unlockable characters and unlockable weapons. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any major passive progression apart from weapon choice, but that's okay. Uh, it would unbalance the game and make it boring. Uh, the enemy types are interesting, the combat is fun. Uh, gameplay is a little bit awkward just because the levels are pretty much just like a bunch of uh, impediments, hidden chests, and random enemies that spawn from places. But still, I'm pretty cool with that. I, I like this game a lot. Uh, now that I know how to play and I'm not super angry about it anymore. It's good. Uh, I want to say the game is going to be 15 20 bucks. I bought it for 20 but that was for the like early access version. And uh, it might be cheaper than that. I hope it's cheaper than that just because, you know, I'm not sure how much longevity this game has. But comparatively, this one's really, really quite solid. I like it a lot. So... I'd recommend it if you like roguelikes, flame break, uh, maybe not like Binding of Isaac. I don't know, it stands unique in terms of how it plays, which is actually kind of a cool thing. So, either way, I guess if you guys like this re-impressions video, first episode of Let's Play, whatever, in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, help somewhere that you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm probably going to do at least a couple run-throughs of this game, unlock some weapons, see how things go, and have fun with it, because... Uh, this is definitely something that I can enjoy. Uh, seriously enjoy. So, with that, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.